The first family reunite in Marvel 2-in-1 issue 1. At Gibson Speedway, Johnny Storm is racing his car around the NASCAR track. His pit crew however warn him to stop pushing the car so hard, but it is already too late as the car bursts into flames as well as Johnny. As the emergency crews rush to get the car fire out, an unscathed Johnny walks away from the inferno. Elsewhere, a gala is being held in honour of the Fantastic Four, who are celebrated for their discoveries and helping mankind reach their potential. A tuxedo wearing Ben Grimm is called upon to speak about the Fantastic Award, a new grant. A nervous Ben says that he was never one for speeches and that was more of Reed's thing. He says that between Reed, Johnny himself and Sue, he just drove the bus while the others all look to the stars and to the future. He says that he hopes the people receiving the grant money are also looking to explore and hopes that they too have three friends like he did to share the adventure with. After the speech, Ben escapes the sea of people looking to talk with him, finding a quiet corner where he meets a woman named Rashina, who isn't interested at all with the people pretending to care about the grant. Ben's chat with the woman is interrupted by a tuxedo wearing Spider-Man, who is currently fighting Piledriver through the building. Ben easily stops the villain learning Peter is there to provide him with some moral support. Ben thinks Peter is there for money, but Peter says it's far from it, instead wanting to talk about Johnny. Peter says that Johnny has been pushing himself to his limits recently and being reckless and thinks that Ben might be able to get him to open up about his problems. Peter also gives keys to a storage warehouse which contains all of the stuff from the Baxter building. Heading to the warehouse, Ben looks through all his old stuff, finding his old chair and a newspaper with the Fantastic Four on the cover. Seeing Sue gets Ben to remember the last time he saw her and Reed, and the promise Sue made him keep, which was to watch over Johnny. He gets so caught up in the memory that he is surprised to find Victor Von Doom waiting for him. Before Ben can attack him, Victor says that he has come bearing gifts and reveals that in the aftermath of the incursions, he stole something from the Baxter building, which turns out to be an orb containing a message for Ben, and only Ben. Angered by Victor's doing, Ben attacks him, but the infamous Iron Man easily subdues him but stops his attack, saying he didn't come to fight and wants to be a better man than he was when he was Doctor Doom. Victor leaves the thing to open his gift, which contains a recorded message from Reed. Reed tells Ben to take Johnny and to continue explore and to never stop. He also says that the multiverse is vast, so he will need something to help him in that of a tool called the Multisect a device that can access the multiplane, the nexus to all multiverses. Ben however needs to find the device, since Reed hid it in a location of their first adventure as the Fantastic Four. Saying his goodbye, Reed hopes that Ben will live a fantastic life with Johnny. Elsewhere, Johnny is speeding up and down through Earth's atmosphere, crashing down to Earth. Back down on Earth, Johnny finds Ben waiting for him. He isn't interested in dealing with his friend, even attacking Ben when he tries to stop him from leaving. Flaming up, Johnny gets angrier and angrier, telling Ben to stop reminding him of what happened to Sue and Reed. Eventually, he breaks down, prompting Ben to ask him why he was crashing down to Earth. Johnny reveals that he is slowly losing his powers, and after losing his family, what will he have left in his life when his powers go as well? Remembering Sue's words to him, Ben lies to Johnny, saying Reed and Sue might still be alive and they need to find him. From a nearby tree, Doom watches through a spy camera, interested that Ben would lie to his family. Level 2 in 1 issue 1 was something I have been anticipating for a long time, and I found myself not let down at all by it. I love the opening of this story and the tease of a possible return for the whole Fantastic Four. What interested me, however, was Ben basically lying about Reed and Sue still being alive. I can't wait to see what kind of effect that has on Johnny, who is also going through some really cool stuff with his powers slowly dying out, so I cannot wait to see what Chip Zdarsky has in store for these characters and what will be teased in the return of Reed Richards and Sue Storm. I'm going to give this issue a 9.5 out of 10. 
Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude. Thank you so much for watching.